sample so much. That is called the sampling sampling distribution distribution of the sample mean. Now let's dissect this a little bit just so that this long description of this distribution starts to make a little bit of sense. When we say it's the sampling distribution, that's telling us that it's being derived from it's the distribution of some statistic, which in this case happens to be the sample mean, and we're deriving it from samples of an original distribution. So each of these, so this is my first sample. My sample size is four. I'm using the statistic, the mean. I actually could have done it with other things. I could have done the mode or the, uh, or the range or other statistics. But the, the sampling distribution of the sample mean of the sample mean is the most common one. It's probably in my mind the best place to start learning about the central and the and even, frankly, sampling distribution. So that's what it's called. And just as a little bit of background, and I'll prove this to you experimentally, not mathematically, but I think the experimental is on, on some levels more satisfying with statistics, that this will have the same mean, this will have the same mean as your original distribution, as your original distribution right here. So it has the same mean. We'll see in the next video that this is actually going to be, it's going to start approximating 